Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and it's a joy to be here with you this week as we conclude the season of Advent, as we, uh, uh, to quote the hymn, prepare him room, uh, to prepare in our hearts to celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Savior of the nations, uh, comes as we celebrate his birth, his life on earth, his ministry, his death, and his resurrection, not just at Christmas, but each and every day as he is the savior of the nations. This week we've been walking through some very old prayers, um, very uh, lyrical prayers, uh, very poetic, uh, words that inspired uh, to write the hymn, uh, for the hymn writer to write, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And I know I was uh, delayed with you uh, a day, I missed a day here with you, so we'll conclude with the last two, uh, which uh, will end with today, December 23rd, uh, which is when these would have concluded uh, in the early church. They would have concluded these antiphons by celebrating, preparing uh, to end their Advent journey uh, on the evening of December 23rd as they head into the beginning of the Christmas season, marking Christmas Eve. Here is the one for the 22nd yesterday. O king of the nations, the ruler they long for, the cornerstone uniting all people, come and save us all whom you formed out of clay. I really like this one because it says that he is the king of all nations. Jesus is the savior of the nations. And it almost echoes uh, savior of the nations come. And obviously we know that if we want to look at anything or anyone uh, that's able to unite us, it's Christ. There's no uh, procedure or policy. There's no uh, uh, culture or uh, thing out there that would be able to unite the people of the world other than the mercy of God through his son Jesus, who he pours out through his life, through his birth, his ministry here on earth, his death and his resurrection, and even an ascension, sits at the right hand of the Father to unite the people of God, to focus our worship on what God has done through the redemption by the blood of his son Jesus. And here is the one that concludes day number seven. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lord, the anointed for the nations and their Savior, come and save us, O Lord our God. You know, that is really what the word Messiah means, is the anointed one. The one who was anointed, really, that has a very uh, Davidic king type uh, reference. Obviously, we know that uh, when priests and kings, uh, especially kings, uh, when they were uh, commissioned or became king, uh, they were anointed. The priest would anoint them with oil as one who is marked for that office. That office is one where we see the approval of not only God through the office of the priest marking or anointing that person, uh, but also approval from the people as one who has received this leader from God. You know, if we go into the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 7, we really get a prophecy of uh, Christ being born as the savior of the nations, the one who would be anointed uh, in his in his not only his baptism but also on the Mount of Transfiguration, where the anointing is God's affirming word. This is my son. Listen to him. But this is verse uh, fourteen of chapter seven of Isaiah's prophecy. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive. And bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. You see, that is why Christ came. Because the gospel writer Matthew tells us what the name Emmanuel really means. It means God is with us. The one who has been promised for so long was now uh, revealed through the, the virgin's womb, for through Mary's birth uh, to Jesus, uh, the Christ, the Emmanuel, the God who is with us, was born. 
So when we pray these words, O Emmanuel, our King and our Lord, the anointed for the nations and their Savior, come and save us. We know that Mary gave birth to the Savior of the nations. She gave birth to the King of all kings. She gave birth to the Lord of all lords. She gave birth to the one we celebrate, and that is why we say Merry Christmas to each other. Because we are literally saying Christ is with us. Merry Christmas. He's with us. He's watching over us. He's blessing us. His death and resurrection on the cross has forgiven us all our sins. And that is why there is so much joy for this birthday celebration for Jesus to celebrate his coming into the world, to being the Emmanuel, God with us. I pray that this Christmas and this New Year season would be one that is marked with Emmanuel, where God makes known and continues to make known through his word and his sacraments that he is with you, he is never leaving you, and he's never forsaking you. May God bless you this Christmas season and a 2023. Will you join me in a word of prayer? O come, O come, Emmanuel. Lord Jesus, that is our prayer, even though we know you were born so long ago. But our prayer doesn't change. Just like the people of the Old Testament, our prayer is the same, that you would come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come and rescue us from this world of hurt and shame, of sin and peril. I pray that you would bless and keep us with your tender love and care this Christmas season and into this new calendar year. May your love and mercy and presence, Emmanuel, God with us, may that be our hope and our strength this season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day and Merry Christmas.